Welcome to this complete Buffalo, New York travel guide. Our first stop is the Albright Knox Art Gallery. This artistic haven is a beacon of culture and creativity, housing an exceptional array of contemporary and modern masterpieces. Within its walls, the creations of Pablo Picasso and Andy Warhol coexist with the works of New Age talent, weaving together a stunning tableau of artistic brilliance. The gallery's architecture matches its internal allure. A fusion of neoclassical and modernist elements makes the structure a visual spectacle, perfectly accentuating the art housed within. The grandiosity of the building is a tribute to the vision of its founders, John J. Albright and Seymour H. Knox, Jr., whose love for art has deeply influenced Buffalo's cultural terrain. For over a hundred years, the Albright Knox Art Gallery has gathered global recognition for its commitment to the arts. Its influence stretches far beyond the borders of Buffalo, marking it as a top-tier destination for art enthusiasts worldwide. Immerse yourself in Buffalo's artistic fervor at the Albright Knox Art Gallery. Next, we step into history at the Buffalo and Erie County Naval and Military Park. This is no ordinary park, rather, it's a testament to the indomitable spirit of the United States military, a place where the echoes of the past reverberate through the present. The park's star attraction is the majestic USS Little Rock, the only guided missile cruiser on display in the United States. Just imagine the roar of her engines, the hum of her radar, the command of her captain as she sailed the high seas during the Cold War. But the naval and military park isn't just about showcasing military marvels. It's a living monument to the brave men and women who served, a tangible tribute to their courage and dedication. It's a place where stories of valor are etched in steel and painted in the colors of freedom. So come, walk the decks, feel the history, and experience a piece of American military history at this remarkable park. Now, we venture into the wild at the Buffalo Zoo. A sanctuary in the midst of an urban landscape, this zoo is much more than a collection of exotic creatures. It's a testament to the beauty of biodiversity, housing over a thousand animals from all corners of the globe. From the majestic lions of the African savanna to the playful otters of North America, each species is a testament to the wonder of nature. The Buffalo Zoo doesn't just showcase its diversity of species, it actively invests in their preservation. With a strong commitment to conservation, it contributes to global efforts to protect these incredible animals from extinction. It's not just about observing, it's about educating. The zoo offers a multitude of educational programs, teaching visitors about the importance of preserving our natural world. A visit here is an exploration of the wild, a journey through the animal kingdom right in the heart of Buffalo. The Buffalo Zoo brings you closer to nature in the heart of the city. We continue our journey at Canal Side Buffalo's waterfront hotspot. This bustling hub nestled on the edge of Lake Erie is a mecca for outdoor enthusiasts. Whether you're an adrenaline junkie or a peaceful stroller, Canal Side has something for you. Fancy a bit of water adventure? Paddle your way through the azure currents in a kayak. Or perhaps you'd prefer to lace up your skates and glide across the ice rink under a canopy of twinkling stars. The choice is yours. But Canal Side is more than just a playground. It's a vibrant, pulsating heart that beats with Buffalo's spirit. Throughout the year, the area plays host to an array of events, from summer concerts that have you dancing in the dusk to winter festivals where snowflakes become the confetti of the night. Canal Side is where Buffalo's energy and beauty converge. This is the place where memories are made and stories are born. So what will your canal side tale be? Next, we find tranquility in the city at Delaware Park. Considered the jewel in Buffalo's crown, this 350-acre park is a testament to the genius of Frederick Law Olmsted, the landscape architect who designed it over a hundred years ago. The park is an oasis of serenity, its landscape dotted with towering trees, expansive lawns, and a picturesque lake. And then there's the enchanting Rose Garden, a feast for the senses with its myriad of colors and intoxicating fragrances. It's not uncommon to see couples strolling hand in hand, families picnicking or artists sketching the scenery. Delaware Park is not just a park, it's a community gathering place. It's where Buffalo's residents come to unwind, to celebrate, to engage in leisurely pursuits. 
Whether it's a game of frisbee, a jog around the lake, or just a quiet moment on a park bench, there's something for everyone. Delaware Park is a perfect escape from the city's hustle and bustle. We now ascend to the Buffalo City Hall observation deck. From this lofty perch, Buffalo unfolds beneath us like a living canvas. To the west, the shimmering expanse of Lake Erie stretches towards the horizon, dotted with sailboats during summer and frozen over in winter, a testament to Buffalo's ever-changing beauty. Now, let's not forget the magnificent structure we're standing on. Buffalo City Hall, an Art Deco masterpiece, is an architectural gem in its own right. Its towering facade and intricate detailing are a sight to behold. A visual feast that encapsulates Buffalo's rich architectural heritage. Inside, the council chamber's stained glass skylight is an artistic marvel, casting a warm, colourful glow that dances across the room. And beneath us, the hustle and bustle of Buffalo's civic life plays out, a testament to the city's vibrant community spirit. From this vantage point, Buffalo's beauty is truly awe-inspiring. Let's stroll through the charming Elmwood Village. This vibrant neighborhood is a treasure trove of unique shops, delightful eateries, and a thriving art scene. Each storefront has a story to tell, each cafe a dish to delight, and each art installation a conversation to spark. The local shops are a testament to the creative spirit of Buffalo, offering a range of eclectic goods, from vintage clothing to handcrafted jewellery. The restaurants, on the other hand, are a culinary adventure in themselves, featuring everything from gourmet burgers to vegan delights. But Elmwood Village isn't just about the shopping and dining, it's the vibrant street art that truly sets it apart. Bold murals and intricate graffiti splash colour across the urban landscape, making every corner a canvas for creativity. What's more, the friendly community vibe is palpable here. The locals' warm smiles and welcoming attitude make you feel like you're part of the village, even if you're just passing through. Elmwood Village truly embodies the spirit of Buffalo. We step back in time at the Theodore Roosevelt inaugural National Historic Site. Here, on an unassuming day in September of 1901, Theodore Roosevelt took the oath of office after the tragic assassination of President William McKinley. This site, also known as the Wilcox Mansion, has remained a symbol of American resilience and leadership. Walking through its halls, one can almost hear the echo of Roosevelt's voice as he took on the mantle of presidency. The site boasts an array of educational exhibits Immersing visitors in the historical context of Roosevelt's inauguration, his extraordinary presidency, and the early 20th century American life. From the interactive exhibits to the well-preserved artifacts, the site offers a rich, tangible connection to the past. The dedicated staff and historians make the experience all the more enlightening. So, if you're a history buff or simply curious about the nation's past, this site is a must-visit for history enthusiasts. Next, we explore the wonders of science at the Buffalo Museum of Science. This splendid museum is a treasure trove of interactive exhibits and collections, each one designed to ignite the spark of scientific inquiry. Here you'll find exhibits that span from the depths of the Earth to the farthest reaches of the cosmos, all under one roof. The museum's commitment to science education is commendable with engaging programs crafted to cater to inquisitive minds of all ages. Whether it's about ancient fossils, the human genome, or the mysteries of the universe, there's something here to pique everyone's curiosity. The museum's goal is not just to educate, but to inspire. It invites you to ask questions, to seek answers, and to discover the world around you in a whole new light. So whether you're a budding scientist or a seasoned researcher, this museum is sure to fascinate and enlighten. The Buffalo Museum of Science sparks curiosity and wonder in every visitor. We conclude our journey at the enchanting Buffalo Botanical Gardens, a place where nature and architecture coalesce in a symphony of colours, textures and scents. This 1890s horticultural masterpiece is a living, breathing museum of exotic and native plant species that are as diverse as they are beautiful. From the vibrant orchid house to the peaceful tranquility of the Japanese garden, each section offers a unique sensory experience. 
The centerpiece of the gardens, the glass conservatory, is a stunning architectural marvel. Inspired by the Crystal Palace in England, its sweeping arches and intricate ironwork are a sight to behold. The conservatory houses a tropical rainforest, where visitors can immerse themselves in a lush, verdant world, a stark contrast to the hustle and bustle of city life. The Buffalo Botanical Gardens is a serene and beautiful end to our buffalo adventure, a place that reminds us to take a moment to appreciate the natural beauty that surrounds us, even in the heart of a bustling city.